What's good, yo? Hotep Dutch here. What's good? What's good? I mean, I want to talk about Ukraine. You know, people keep talking about Ukraine. I've been, I've been warned. I can't tell you how I've been warned about Ukraine for about um, almost a decade now. I've been hearing that Ukraine is going to be a hot spot in the future, and that's probably going to be the catalyst of WW3. You know, so, something like that. And I'm hearing it again now, so many years later. I'm like, oh, I guess there was some truth to it. But um, Ukraine is basically Russia. You know, if you just look at it, how, the history of Russia, it's bas basically Russia that in the same year that a lot of other small pockets of country um you know, got the democratic bug of, you know, going away, stepping away from the evil, bad parents, in this case, Russia, you know, there's a lot of little states, you know, Taiwan, Hong Kong, uh, there's a whole bunch of them that, you know, got the democracy bug, and, but, you know, most Ukrainians have family in Russia and vice versa. There's the last thing they want to do with each other on a personal level is have war. So, you know, you hear about the, the, the media machine is at it again saying, oh, it's going to be war. And it's like two, three people talking about being in war. It's Putin and, and Biden and, and their gang. They want war for some like who, who the fuck wants war, man? Come on. Who wants to go fight their own family? So, you know, they're at it again. And, you know, with Ukraine, ge geographically, basically what it comes down to is um, the pipeline that goes from Russia to, to, to Europe and their access to the Black Sea. You know, when, when, when that happens, when they when they blocked that off, that kind of gave Russia um, a disadvantage as to how it deals with Europe. You know, so if you really think about it, you kind of know who's behind, who's behind it. It wasn't Russia. So, you know, wh where these people messed up is they don't want Ukraine to be part of Russia, but they, when I say they, I'm talking about the European Union. They, we, whatever. But they don't want to accept Ukraine either. Or or the whole um, Eastern, Eastern Europe. You know, they're playing games. Everybody's playing games. And the ones getting hurt are us, the pawns. We have to, to, to dress up as soldiers and go, go do their bids. You know, and I feel so sorry for people who, who feed into this bullshit. You know, people, you know, it, it goes all the way from the top of people who have stocks in, in, in gas and oil and all that shit. Or like, oh my God, I have to move my money. Yeah, you're you're the main players. You're making this happen. Because when you move your money, you, you, you actually, you know, what, what happens next is their macaroni prices go, go up and shit like that. You know, the oil prices go up and then they have to make that move. You, you know, you know, Ukraine is Russia. It's part of it, you know. There's no reason why they shouldn't be able to have, like, like, uh, shouldn't be able to trade or whatever, have have borders or whatever. I mean, I'm not saying um, Putin or, or Russia is a saint, but you know, because you know they're all snakes. All those people on top on top of snakes, but you know, don't let them play you, people. Focus, focus. If you don't let it happen, it can't happen. It's you, you feeding into this shit. So. I kind of want to ignore it, but even though I know I've, I've, I've been hearing the noise for about a decade about Ukraine and with this whole thing going on over here with, um, you can't say it or otherwise you're going to be censored. They've been talking about the next step is, you know, confusion is to cause a war. So, you know, the bodies will seem like it comes from the war, you know, so Hopefully all of that is bullshit, but, you know, we're watching. We're watching. All right? Hotep Dutch. Peace out.